I'm really excited about this video because it's gonna be so real. <laughs> It is Friday, this is the end of the week, and I haven't looked in my diaper bag thoroughly in at least a few days. So it's just been in the car, ready to be used, getting used. And I wanted to show you what that looks like. So this is, I haven't even, I have not looked at it. I haven't looked inside of it. I just said, Christopher, go get the diaper bag from the car. Here it is. This is my diaper bag. It is for our three month old baby. We also have a two and a half year old who is potty training. So there's a little bit in there for him. And we have older kids as well. And sometimes their stuff sneaks in. I don't know what's gonna be in here. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's a little overflowy, but also like clearly empty in parts. So it's just not well put together at the moment. So you know, this is a Jujube, let me look it up, I wrote it down. I was like, oh, they're gonna wanna know what diaper bag this is. Okay, it is a Jujube Classic Encore Tote. And I really did some research and I checked the Jujube website for it because I got it on like Black Friday sale last year and it's not on their website anymore. So that's kind of devastating, but Amazon did have some, and I think you can find some older ones somewhere. So I really, really like this bag. So that's why I said it was devastating. I guess I could have <laughs> provided some information to you about that. I really like this bag. I also got a black one during the Black Friday sale. I don't know if they're going to like update it or something at Jujube. I don't know what's going on, but it's a solid bag and it's kind of a bummer that it's gone. Anyway, on to the bag. First of all, right on top was one of my most needed items. This is a swaddling blanket. It's muslin. It it folds out to be very large. I really like this pattern. So I, I grab this one a lot just because I think it's extra cute. And there's a little bicycle on it. Oh, so cute. It's not like too much of a statement. <laughs> so it just kind of goes with everything and it makes me happy when I see it. Um, it's from the company Little Unicorn. I use these blankets to quickly cover up while I'm nursing. I prefer a nursing cover, but like if I'm in a pinch, I can use these. I use it as a burp cloth. I use it as a place to change my baby. So I'll lie them out and change a diaper on it. It's kind of anywhere. This makes for a nice quick portable changing um, station and for that reason you'll see I don't have a changing pad in my diaper bag a lot of diaper bags come with changing pads and I just think they add extra bulk and that they're unnecessary I do try to change these out frequently so a lot of times I'll just bring a muslin blanket in with me and dump it in the um, like right on top that's probably what happened I just dump it on top of the diaper bag like as we're leaving because I change diapers on them and stuff. <laughs> and they get spit up on and they get all kinds of yuck. So we clean these and swap them out kind of constantly. All right, what else is in here? This is my nursing cover. I love this. I've had this one since um, Duncan was a baby. You can get it on Amazon. I love how large it is. I love that I have this like peekaboo thing. I don't love that there's this buckle here. For some reason, my neck goes back and it hits me just in the wrong spot. And I don't remember it bothering me at all with Duncan. I've tried adjusting it so that it's at different places and it's still, no matter what, I end up like having it hit me. I don't know if it's because like maybe since it's older, like these don't protect it as much. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it didn't bother me when I had Duncan and it drives me bananas when I have Luke. I don't think there's a better nursing cover out there. Like I would still deal with this downside and have all the great things of this one, but it does kind of bother me. Just throwing that out there. I really love the fabric, it's very pretty. I actually feel like it it almost matches that too much. <laughs> like sometimes I'm like, ooh, I'm matchy matchy. All right, this is a, oh, I forgot to mention, this is a swaddling blanket. We also use it to swaddle, <laughs> so that's another good thing, but, when you wanna like really shut your baby down, you get one of these, they're amazing. This company is called Swaddle Me. There are a couple other companies that make these. This is a Velcro swaddle. So it's like a little pod you put your baby in and you undo these tabs here. Your baby's feet are in here and this is a tab as well. You open this up, you put the baby in, go around like this and the Velcro catches. So that gets really tight. And then you bring this part around and these little tabs stick to here and you have a little swaddled, little cute bean of a baby. So I love these, they work well when you have a baby who gets older and stronger and starts breaking out of that swaddle. There are certain babies that will just break out of anything. That's just who they are, that's okay. <laughs> it can be frustrating, but that's normal. There are babies that can really break out of anything and I think I've tried almost all of them. And this one is 
really good. Highly recommend it. It also has this little hole in the back. So if you buy one of these and you're like, mine's broken, I need to return it. Actually, this is for your car seat. You can actually put the baby's car seat seat belt right through this and swaddle them magically in the swaddle. So that's pretty cool. That was the top mess. So now everything is gonna look really well organized and beautiful. <laughs> that was the stuff we just throw on there because we use it a lot. Okay, are you ready to see how organized and magical I am? This is, this is a proud moment for me <laughs> because with my bag, you can actually pull this whole thing out on a magical keychain, and these come out individually as well. So like if I just wanted to pull out one, it's really easy to clip this here. So easy, it's the easiest. So, so easy. <laughs> so these things here are happily labeled. So this one says lotions and potions. This one's me and mine. This says dipes and wipes, which I, I love that. I like saying dipes and wipes. This is shirts and socks, and this one's snacks and supplies. It's very big. I really like this thing. I know you're all gonna ask me what it is and where I got it, and I should have an answer for you, so. This says sugar snap, so I'm guessing that's it. I got it on Amazon. So maybe look up like diaper bag organizer. Oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, there's like a million tags. <laughs> Well done, Jessica. So yeah, it says sugar snap on every single bag. <laughs> so look up sugar snap on the internet or Amazon or wherever. Oh, look at that, a tag. I spent $27 on something. This is sort of my like go bag. I can unclip these and hand one thing to Christopher or if we're like at a restaurant, we need a quick diaper change, I can unclip this and just be like, here, take this whole thing. I love that. My diaper bag will still have some backup supplies in it, but I like that this kind of has that all set and easy to get. I feel like our most used ones are the diapers and wipes area and then lotions and potions. I think mostly because Luke has colic and has just like a lot of tummy issues. So we have many medications in here and I actually put a bag inside the bag, <laughs> inside the bag. <laughs> I don't know why moms do things like this to themselves, but it works really well for me. Like every time I pull out the bag from the bag from the bag, I'm always like, yeah, that was great. <laughs> and I actually think, <laughs> I, <have another. laughs> I don't know, maybe I should stop filming. I feel like I'm kind of like, this is the bag that goes inside the bag that goes in the bag that goes in the bag. <laughs> You know what I love the most about all of this? Is that Christopher has a question. <laughs> I feel like we're at a point in our marriage and our family of five children where he just goes, okay, sure, give me the bag within the bag within the bag. <laughs> but back in like early days, like when we first had a baby, I think if I had had this and this, he would have been like, what are we doing? <laughs> Why do we have a bag in a bag? Well, I showed you. <laughs> now you got a bag and a bag and a bag and a bag. Anyway, okay. We have in here Gerber Soothe, Mylacon Drops. Mylacon Drops. And this is the Mylacon Dropper. And, what's this? Oh, this is a little mini diaper rash cream. My babies don't get a lot of diaper rash. So I typically don't carry the full container. I just usually have like a little backup cream for baby bottom emergencies. So this is like quick medications. And then the lesser used stuff is in the bigger bag. I wouldn't even call this lesser used. Lesser used while on outings, I would say, because this is one of my favorite baby items in existence. This is called the Windy. It helps them toot. It helps them poop. Um, you stick it up their bottoms. <laughs> using this mini Vaseline container that I have. This is amazing. Especially if you have a baby whose tummy is hurting, who is really gassy or has trouble with pooping. <laughs> this is a lifesaver. All I can tell you is my babies are very happy when I use them. And I've been pooped on many times while using it. So also in this bag, I have another Gerber Soothe. I have shampoo and body wash, and then teething medication, baby oil, 
and Lanzano Lanolin. And I think out of all of this stuff, I have only used this with Luke. And it's not even for him, this is for me. So this is for like sore, painful nipples and for preventing that. When I'm feeling discomfort, either after nursing or if we've had a day where it's just been like a lot of uh, not great latching, I'll need this. I don't use it constantly, but it does help me. And I do occasionally have pain with Luke because while he's nursing now, and I'm so grateful for that, it's not always perfect with him. Sometimes he's just so upset during the day that um, when he goes on to latch, he's not, he's not getting it exactly right. And then that in turn can, can really hurt. It can, it can hurt on my nipples. <laughs> This helps me with that a lot. And then these other things really, I think are mostly backups that I had thrown in here because we were going to Hawaii. So as I said, this bag hasn't really been fully unpacked. I'd say even since we've been to Hawaii, I haven't done a thorough go through of it. So I wouldn't normally bring like baby oil and shampoo with me. <laughs> this was just because of that. And actually I think I'm gonna put it aside right now and that'll go in a little drawer we have in our house that's a travel drawer. We have that because we travel a lot. I know most people wouldn't need that, but I really like having a drawer that has little tiny things that I can pack easily for traveling. And then teething medication, Luke hasn't used. This is just leftover from Duncan time. So I'll put that in there. Don't you love when you like, take things out of the bag. Like I took this much stuff out and now I'm having trouble closing my bag. So I don't know why that is, but that happens to me a lot where I'll be like, wow, I just really cleaned. That's gonna feel so good. And it's like messier. So I don't know what happened here, but... I'm gonna warn you now, a lot of these bags that I've set up don't make a lot of sense. They have definitely been through it and don't, are, are very reasonable now. So actually this is pretty great. Me and mine, again, we were on an airplane, so I packed this Afrin nasal spray. A doctor told me once that if we're getting like stuffy noses or feeling any sinus issues and going on a plane, that we need to use Afrin because Otherwise, it, you're like at a very high risk for getting an ear infection and that will actually really help and help with like ear issues on planes. So this is in our little adults bag. And then, tissues. Because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I always get into a situation where I need some sort of nasal tissue and don't have one, but not anymore. This bag, shirts and socks, is down to one pair of underwear. And that is because we used all the shirts and socks. And this one looks like it's still clean, which is great. And this is Duncan, because he's been potty training. But I definitely need to put in changes of clothes for Duncan and Luke, because they've been both needing them lately. Next up, this is my snacks and supplies bag. I don't have any snacks in here now. I pretty much should, but they've definitely been eaten. This is a water wow. I love water wows. This, I think, saved our lives on the flight home from Hawaii, because I think that's all Parker had to play with for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see the paintbrush thing which you need, but I think that's because I put it in a pocket in here just in case it got spilly. They don't usually leak, but they sometimes do. So I didn't want it to leak inside of my like main bag. This was Christopher's Aunt Cindy's necklace on Christmas. And she was wearing it and Duncan was crying and crying and crying. And then she turned it on because it has little Christmas lights. I'm not gonna turn them on right now because I know some people are sensitive to the flashing lights. Duncan was happy. <laughs> like, it was awesome. So this is Duncan's toy right now. He likes to look at that. Not always, but he does like to sometimes. So we have that on hand. This is a <laughs> big old thing of Motrin. Cause mom gets headaches sometimes. I like to usually have the little containers, but I think I haven't seen a Motrin one yet, and that's the one my doctors want me to use while I'm breastfeeding. I have like an Advil and an Aleve little tiny cutie container, but it's not working for me right now. And Motrin is what I've got. Dipes and wipes. In here I have a mostly depleted wipes container. I need some more wipes. We have four size one diapers and two of the size five. I think we've definitely added some more diapers throughout the week because I feel like earlier this week we were almost out. And I wanted to show you guys that this thing came with this now kind of ruined guide. It's a little checklist of things you should make sure to pack. And I just, I like that. I don't totally need it, but I kind of do because sometimes 
you just can't remember everything. There's a lot to remember when you're a mom. Also, these are really cute because like inside of it, like this says, you change more than diapers. <laughs> so it's like just a little note. It's making me feel a little better in my day. They're just like cute extra things to this that I like. So those are, that's a well thought out product. I appreciate it. This is gonna be where all the fun happens, I think. It's gonna be some funny stuff. Okay, so first of all, the inside of my bag looks like this. So I like that it has the little internal pockets. We have two extra size one diapers, a sippy cup, this is for Duncan, a little tiny extra wipe, and some applesauce. <laughs> I think this was like a kid's meal that Duncan had and he had the applesauce extra. So I always snag those little portable snacky things and stick them in my bag. Insulated part, didn't have anything in it. And then we've got a little extra Luke onesie. I will tell you there is a lot of like confetti. <laughs> you know, just in case I need to celebrate something one day as a mom. <laughs> I think that was from the luau we went to. I think that's where they threw, somewhere. We went somewhere and there was confetti. And there's something about that confetti stuff that happens at the end of shows where the kids always think they need to collect it and keep it for life. <laughs> and I get it, because I kind of want to collect it too. <laughs> Like when they do the, like, oh, I, I need the confetti. And it's like, everybody's like fighting over it and the kids are like elbowing each other. And I'm kind of like, give me the confetti. <laughs> so like everybody's in a rush to collect the confetti. And then you're like, oh, now I have confetti. <laughs> Stick it in the diaper bag, kids. Here's a little more. <laughs> this is one really smart thing, or at least it's been smart for us so far, which is we keep all of our immunization records in our bag for the kids because, and this is also like all their doctor records because we're the parents that show up at the doctor appointments and the doctors are like, where are your records? And we're like, uh, somewhere at the house, we don't know, in our important things file at home. And they're like, hmm, that's not helpful. We started keeping it in the diaper bag, especially when it's like doctor appointment time and we had a ton of those this month. So they're just there like semi-permanently as we get through that like heavy doctor visit time of the year. Hopefully they'll get put back into an important things file just in case we ever lose the bag or something. Well, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Like it doesn't have that much personal information and the doctors keep their own record as well. So like wouldn't be terrible if we lost them, but it would be a pretty big bummer. I don't know. This has been actually the best place that we've found to keep those records, even though it seems kind of weird. Water well paintbrush. I told you guys I'd find it. You fill it with water here and then you put this on, it goes like that. And then this part paints water onto the water well and then colors and beautiful scenery appears and it's very fun. Oh! This is an outer pocket so it's easy to access and this one over here was an outer pocket as well. Um, this is like a big outer pocket where you're supposed to put your changing pad, but I don't. Oh yeah, I like this. This pocket's like lined. So it's really soft and fleecy. And I think it's supposed to be a nice place for your phone to rest and like live its best life. So this side here, and on both of these, by the way, have like magnet snap closures. So I like that because your bag isn't totally open all the time, but you can kind of have it open if you need it because you overpacked it with stuff like, some people do. Diapers, I don't. <laughs> so this is actually a strategy, guys, I swear. <laughs> because what happens when you're me or you're like my husband who can't find anything, you get in a tough situation where you're like, I need a diaper now, I need that thing, give it to me immediately. I'm actually surprised I don't have more wipes in here. But when you get in that situation, you really want those things to be accessible and in every single pocket you reach into. Like you want the pocket you go for to have the thing you desperately need. So that's why I have a lot of diapers in the diaper bag in various places. How many diapers was that? I think that was seven size one diapers, which is actually really good. Like, go me. That was, that was good preparation. When you're gonna go out for a couple hours or even like maybe half the day, I'd suggest having at least five diapers. When they're newborns, I always say 10. When we're packing, I usually pack for like five to 10 for the whole day, for each day. And so like, that's, that's it. That's all there was. It was actually like, pretty good like this was a well-packed diaper bag we could have been a little bit more organized as far as like just throwing things in certain zones but considering that I haven't touched this bag like I haven't gone and reorganized it in probably at least two or three weeks 
this was really best case scenario. <laughs> like it could have been way worse. But right now I am going to go through it and make it very pleasing and like exactly what I need. But even like, I'm trying to think if there's anything I didn't have. Oh, you know what I, maybe it's in one of the pockets. You know what happened? So what, oh, there's more stuff in here. <laughs> wanted to wear today here it, whoa. Uh, this was from packing for Hawaii but I've been looking for this so that's great news aha yes this was the essential thing I was gonna say was missing and it's right here this is my little baggie of baggies <laughs> if we've learned anything it's Jessica likes a bag these baggies I talk about them in a lot of my little bag videos but they're basically like dog poop bags or small, tiny waste basket liners. I buy a little roll like this for each baby that I have, <laughs> kind of. Like you use up this much for, I think kind of the baby's whole first year. They're great for putting like soiled clothes in that you have to take home and wash. That happens a lot. We've been using these a lot lately, I'll tell you that much. They're great for throwing away a really stinky diaper so you can wrap it up and tie a knot in it. You don't need that for basic pee diapers, but if you've got a stinky one, this is helpful, people appreciate it. And then one of my favorite things to do with it is to use it as a trash bag. So I collect trash, like if we're in the car and we have a minute to clean up the car, I'll be like, all right, give me all your trash, round it up, and we'll take a little bit of time to fill it up a trash bag. When we're on an airplane, I always bring these because I end up being the one covered in everybody's snack trash and it's very stressful because I've got my little tray, I've got my baby, I'm juggling a lot. And with a little bag, I just fill my bag, they come by to collect the trash, I'm like, mm, there's my trash and it's such a good feeling. I love these, this is my big, big mom tip. And so that's it, all I'm gonna do now is I think pack up basically everything I had in here. I wasn't really missing much. I actually thought I was gonna be like completely out of diapers and wipes. Aside from a change of clothes for Duncan and another change for Luke in that extra bag. So like I like to have a change in here for both of them and then also like kind of a onesie in the bag. This was a pretty well stocked bag. This was exactly how I would want it. Um, I think I might change this out because it's probably dirty and then put some new clothes in. But other than that, like, I guess after five kids, I guess I'm just like kind of good at this. <laughs> this is a big surprise. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. I'm gonna do more things like this and I, I really like the idea of it being an ongoing conversation. I'm sure there were things that I'm missing. I'm sure there are things that you didn't like about how I packed things. Try to put a compliment in there too if you're gonna critique things. <laughs> I, I wanted to address that next time. So if you have any questions, if you if there's something in it that you liked or if you're excited by or um, anything else, make sure you comment it and let's talk. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe because I'll be doing lots of things like this throughout the year. I am having so much fun with Luke, even though I've got to tell you, he has colic, he's crying all the time. It's really hard for me to get a little bit of time to film, but I'm trying to figure out ways now to make that work. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>